to welcome you to this Hydro Assembly and I'm looking forward to the outcome of your, your discussions during the coming days. These water centers will help WMO in implementing its program at regional and national level with minimum cost and higher efficiency and effectiveness. Of over 3,000 partners that work on water resource management and governance around the world. And uh, with that, I am very delighted to be able to co sign a memorandum of understanding. This is an opportunity for us to get in depth on these, uh, on these issues. And the interplay between what is done at the global level by WMO and what is done at regional and bilateral level can be the way forward. Quality water data was absolutely critical if we were going to use our water sustainably and for generations to come. Because water is so essential for our future. It has bearing on uh, obviously economic development, it has bearing on international security and it has bearing on human rights. Using WMO is to reinforce the cooperation between the Hydro Hub, who is dealing on some aspect of hydrology, with Hydro SOS, which is dealing with other aspect of hydrology, but also with the World Water Data Initiative. Operational hydrology would co contribute very much in the sustainable development because it gives real-time information and data to decision makers and to the end users of what is available in terms of qu quantity and quality of water resources. We need to connect the centers of excellence together to have better service for the whole world that protect and mitigate the impacts of climate change as well as uh, floods and droughts, especially flash floods. Being in the assembly provides us a great opportunity for exchanges with other countries and that's the key role of WMO facilitating those forums. The WMO Commission for Hydrology is moving its first steps towards an important reform, including this hydrological assembly. Mm -hmm.